Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to another episode of Barbershop Talk Radio. I'm your host, Young Slim, and Kim is over there. Oh, oh, thanks. All right, there's Kim. And uh, today we're going to do like a little special thing. We're not, you know, I mean, we haven't done it. Um, we've been doing football season, season four, but now we're going to do um, Game of Thrones. Yes, 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 Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is back. Game of Thrones is here. Tomorrow, uh, if, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's 9 o'clock. Is it 9 o'clock tomorrow? Yes. 9 o'clock tomorrow, Sunday. Game of Thrones will be back. Yes, after a two-year hiatus. Uh, would you say hiatus? Yeah. It's, it's been gone for two, two years. It's been in production. And... I'm hearing a lot of good things, you know. It's only six episodes. The last season, only six episodes, and they're only going to do um, the first two episodes are sixty minutes. I don't know why some people think that it's going to be. Uh, they're like, oh, I heard it's going to be movie length. Like, no, they're not movie length episodes. The first two episodes are sixty minutes. That's a fact. And I believe the last four episodes will be. 90 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. So, 60 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes. And then we can say goodbye to our beloved, yes, I say our beloved Game of Thrones. Um, I can't believe it's almost here. I can't believe it's almost over at the same time. It's like, it's here, but yet, I don't want it to end. Plus, it's been two years, two years. That has been gone. So, I just, uh, man, I, I, I just, I can't wait. But at the same time, I'm sad to see it go. Now, let's, uh, let's, let's our, um, question is going to be, um, well, not really a question, but their thoughts, you know, what, I wanted thoughts from everybody. Uh, shit, hold up. Let me get back. Let me go back. Oh, God, I'm so unprepared. Yeah, oh, that you are. motherfucking guy. Like, Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, You're not yeah. even ready. I'm ready. Way, way more ready. <laughs> All right. Who do you think should sit on the Iron Throne is one. Like, when it's all said and done, who deserves to be on the Iron Throne? And what if they throw a wrench in, into it and neither, it's not Daenerys, John, or Cersei? What if it's, like, Jaime or Tyrion or Arya? Because Game of Thrones is known to do that. No, it can happen. That, that, that's, that's the beauty about this next episode. This next season is nobody knows what's going to happen. Nobody yeah. knows. It's, it's beyond the book. You can't predict it. It's no predictions. It's beyond what anyone could possibly imagine. They're not going to do what everybody expects them to do. They never do. So I'll say that again. I will say that again. Who do you think deserves, or who do you think is going to end up on the Iron Throne? And... <laughs> You know, a lot of people think everyone's going to die. A lot of people are going to die. So I see, I see it like this. Pick one character who you think will survive the whole thing. One character who you think is going to survive the whole entire thing. I, not die, because a lot of people have a, a, like a high death prediction. But who do you think is going to survive? You know, I don't even know who you think is going to do it, but... I know who I think. Arya. That's an easy one. I definitely think Arya's going to survive. So if anybody wants to say Arya on that one, no Arya picks because Arya's definitely going to survive. After you the hell, of- anybody. Now all you're right, going right, right. to limit it. To all right, all right, all right. If Arya's your pick, that's all right. You use a little imagination, okay? All right. Well, I mean, you have your obvious ones like Cersei. Dead. Jamie, yeah, 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 yeah. dead. Yeah. Tarion. You think Jamie's gonna die? Yeah. I don't think Jamie's gonna die. You don't think anybody's gonna die. I, I think Jamie's I don't think Jamie's gonna die. I think there's gonna be more death than you think. I think if there's a higher a higher uh, percentage of uh that Tyrion's gonna die before Jamie. I don't know. You know better than me. I think you've read every um 
prediction or listen to every prediction, anything anybody's had to say about Game of Thrones, I think you've listened to it. Yeah, for the most part. For the most part. I haven't. I haven't watched Game of Thrones since two years ago when it was on the air. <laughs> you haven't watched it? You didn't watch last season? Now. Right now uh, when it's on TV. That That's the thing. Two years ago when it was on the air, was the last, I watched it and then just now. Oh, you know, me either. Yeah, right. You watch it every day. Well, I still watch it still every day, but still at the same time, like, it hasn't been on in two years. So, come on, let's take a call. Take that call right there. No, no, no. No, no. Yo, welcome to Barbershop Talk Radio. Yeah, are you there? Who is it, me, Levette? Yes, it's you. It is you. Hi, hi. Hello. What? What is up? How you been? Let's get it on. Let's talk some thrones. Oh, yeah, I'm very, very excited. Excited. Thank you I for having me. No, thank you for coming on. Thank you. Absolutely. Now. So what are we getting into? Where are we? We're getting into. Out? All right. First, I want to see who you think will survive. Give me like out of all the characters. You know, you, you see where we're at right now at the end of the uh, at the end of the series. The Night King brings down the wall. Who do you think will survive throughout the whole season? I think um, I think Arya will survive. I think she's going <laughs> to survive because she's a survivor. That's all yeah. she's done from the beginning. Um, so I think it's a given that she will survive. Um, and I think Sam is going to survive. Sam has to survive. Yes, oh, yeah, in the new world. Yes, yeah. yes, Sam. Sam, I agree with you there. Both, both, both people, both people. I mean, and Sam, Sam has everything. To survive. I forgot about Sam. Yeah, Sam knows more than anybody. Sam is the new. Um, you know, he's he's going to be the one that's going to carry on everything that happens. So he's the historian. He has to survive. He, he's going to be the one that writes down exactly what happened during this whole exactly. um, you know, Night King attack. I, exactly. I agree with you with that one. I agree with you that He's one. Um, Arya, Think about it. Sam has been one person that has been everywhere, just about at every major development. He was out. He was in. He was above the wall. So he has. He knows things that a lot of other people don't know. He's seen things that others yes. haven't seen. Right. So he yes, has to. Yes, yes. Uh, well, you know what? At first, since I, when I. From the beginning, I was I was kind of like uh, Sam, Sam. I was kind of bored with Sam's storyline for a while, mm-hmm. but Sam mm-hmm. has definitely grown on me. John Sam has definitely in, grown on me. John turned him into a man. And, He's not a baby boy anymore. I feel like I feel like yeah. Sam's I feel like Sam's journey has turned himself into a man. You know, he yeah. finally stood up to his father. Yeah. He realized that first of all, he shouldn't have been at the wall in the first place. All right. His dad was just a, a dick. He was you know, cruel. Yeah, he was cruel. cruel, evil man. Treated him like crap. Um, sent him to the wall just because he wasn't what he expected him to be, but he was still a strong character. Sam is one of the stronger characters in his own right in a different way. He is this, now, but remember, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. He was, a, he, like he said, he, he was a coward. For two, he wasn't for two minutes. Like, it didn't take him long to turn it around, though. And that's what's even more remarkable about him. And I was watching the episode where um, Sam brought home um, his girlfriend in the baby. Really? And how the father was talking so mean and, like, demeaning and just, you know, basically calling him fat, shaming him. And you know what I mean? <coughs> and, and how his girl stood up for him. And she was like... He's seen this, and he killed a man, and he did this. Sam, he killed a White know, Walker. Sam made a name for himself, and he grew on yeah. everyone's heart, I think. Sam the Slayer. He took back his power. Yep, it didn't take long. Okay. I, I agree with Sam. I think, you think, what do you think? Yeah, I think Sam survives. You think Sam survives? Yeah. Yeah, I think Sam survives too. I, yeah, I forgot about Sam, but I definitely think he survives. I think Arya and Sam are definitely probably almost 100% guaranteed to survive. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Theon survives now through the whole thing. Theon? I still can't believe Theon's still alive. What if him and Sam <laughs> end up having a baby? No, no. Yeah. He don't got a ju- he got his dick cut off. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if they, they get together. Nah. They end up falling in love. All right, now. 
Who do you think deserves to be on the Iron Throne? Are you asking me? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. All right. So I think um, Daenerys Targaryen, mother of dragons, um, (laughs) should be on the Iron Throne. And I know why I hate this. No. But it's no. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah, the mother of dragons. She belongs there. You think she's gonna? You, you, know think she's you think she's gonna survive and actually make it to the Iron Throne? L- Lamar, am I supposed to call you Mar? Or Lamar? Yeah, call, call me Lamar. whatever. Yeah. Like okay. Yeah. No. Um, she's going to because she's gonna have Jon Snow's baby. So she has to be. She has to be on the throne. No. So what about Jon Snow? What about Jon Snow? Why so, can't they do it together? I'm, Jon I'm, Snow. Not saying, I'm not saying that he's not going to be alive. I'm saying who belongs on the Iron Throne. And you, all right, so you want you want me to tell you my reasons why? Yeah, I want to hear okay, this. So this is so I have I have multiple reasons why. Um, the it's, the Targaryens ruled Westeros for three hundred years. Until uh-huh. the Baratheons came and usurped the throne. Uh-huh. Three hundred years they ruled. They've only been ruling. Um, the Baratheons only ruled. I think it was what, what, 15, 20 some years. Not even. Yeah, since and him and Cersei so, were married. Yeah. Right, right. So, and the other part is this: they killed their entire family. Like that's not how thrones are taken. Or is it? I don't know. Maybe. But they they murdered the children. They murdered every single Targaryen, anyone that even related to the Targaryens. The Marcel, they uh, they killed their their uh, yeah. sister. Yeah, her, kill, her right. children. So, you killed her. You murdered her. Yes, you raped her. Yeah, yeah. So much blood on their hands. That's not how you do things, okay? And I know the Mad King was losing his shit. But there was a way to handle it, and it wasn't by doing what they did. Right? Well, the so, king could not stay in power. He could not stay in power after all the... the, right. the, the, the he couldn't do it. They couldn't keep him in power. The right. Red king had right. to be and, removed. And that's, what, and that's what, and that's what his son, I cannot remember his name off the top of my head. Rhaegar. That's what his son was, huh? Rhaegar Tigarian. Daenerys' yes, brother and Jon Snow's he father. He was trying to gather all of them together to come up with a plan to get their father out of, off of the throne. So he yes. was doing the right thing. Yes. Okay. So but, that's my that's the right. first reason why Daenerys should go, because it should go back to Targaryen because it was taken badly. It was a bad thing. Second was the three ways to defeat the White Walkers are connected to Valeria. The Targaryens are connected to Valeria. You have fire, which that is a symbolism of the Targaryens with, with the dragons. They have three dragons now. You have dragon two dragons. Glass. Well, two, two. I'm thinking from yeah. the beginning on exactly how it all came about. But you have your dragon glass. Which is found where? On Dragonstone. Okay? Go ahead. And you yeah. have Marion Steel. The three ways to defeat the White Walkers are in the hands of the Targaryens. Ugh. That's oh. why that's why Daenerys deserves it. If you can come up with a better logical argument, I'll listen to you. Other than that, I don't want to hear it. I don't know, man. I don't know. You don't think if what the Lannisters would have got into if they if the Lannisters would have got in there that they wouldn't have killed all those kids and everyone else inside too to get to the throne? They you don't had think to the do Lannisters would have done have, the same thing? Would you, go ahead. Go ahead, Kim. Yeah, when they were trying to get the Lannisters off the throne. When they were trying to get the Lannisters off the throne, you don't think they would have killed everybody inside there too? Yeah. They would have killed yeah. all the kids and everyone, too, to get to that throne. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. But you do know the Lannisters had a hand in how it all went down, too. Yeah. Yeah, they dictated the I mean, basically you know, the women. I mean, they didn't jump into it until the winning side. 
So and Jamie Lannister is the one that killed the Mad King. So, you know, Bar- Robert Baratheon usurped the throne, but Jamie Lannister killed him. So, of course, yes, everyone's hands are dirty in this whole thing. Everyone. But, but you got to still understand that the Mad King asked for this. And Rhaegar did as well. You can't take a you can't take a woman that was betrothed to someone else and expect nothing to happen. He wasn't supposed to take Lyanna Stark. He took Lyanna Stark. They fell in love, regardless if she did loved him or not. Her or did she go with him, Lamar? She but it's still at the same time you can't do that. That's the if, story. That's the propaganda that they tell you. Okay. If That's you're promised to somebody else, they she started flirting with him. You do know that, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. At the yeah, twenty at okay, um, so don't put Heron it, Hall. Don't put it just, huh? You, exactly. So you can't say he took her. He didn't take her. She went with him willingly. In fact, she started fucking with him. But you can't. She, that's on her as well. But it's still also on him. He knew he was already married. At the he was already married. He was married yeah. to um, the girl from Dorne. He did a so bad you, thing. He did a the, bad the, thing. The Targaryens asked for what happened to them. And, and Robert Rathian just was executing justice. You think so? Yeah. Yes. And not to mention, the throne really isn't even theirs. The Targaryens really have no... That's how the Targaryens got the throne. They basically took they, they, they seized and conquered the seven kingdoms. Yeah. <laughs> and, and they had dragons. Just like they said, when Rob called his name King of the North, it was the dragons that they bowed to. That's the reason why oh, yeah. they let the Targaryens rule. But once the dragons were gone, we'd have no reason to bow to them anymore, especially when exactly. the king is mad. So we're talking about, I, but we're talking about you, the question was who should be on the throne. So if you can't yeah. give a di- direct line to who should rightfully be on the throne. But from the point where everything happened, I mean, you want to go back 300 years before this? No, no, no. No, no, I'm they talking about right now. Right now. Right now. In right, modern so day. Who do you think will be on the throne right now? Right now? Honestly, I'm mm. going to applaud myself for this one. Uh, mm. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I'm going with Stannis. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Give, God, me Stannis. Give me Stannis. <laughs> I want Stannis. Stannis from Rat Young. <laughs> I want Stannis. Oh, Stannis, yo, you ride so far out of and I don't know why. I love Stannis. Stannis murders his kid, yo. He's a yeah, baby he's killer. Little girl. That's he what I hated. After that, that's when I started. That's when I, started. That's when I stopped feeling Stannis. But until then, I was it feeling makes Stannis. Me question man. You. It makes me question you, Lamar, when you do things like that. When you say you're still rocking. <laughs> I look at you sideways hard. Oh, God, no. Come on. Stannis. Yeah, I'm for I'm team Stannis Baratheon. He kept Stannis. his baby upstairs in a locked closet forever. He didn't even want her. He's a horrible person. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want her. Yo, all right, yeah, he did have his baby locked in the attic, flowers in the and attic, then, and then burned her alive. And then he burned her alive. But yeah, after that, the next he was kind of a nice guy, you the know. First time she came outside, the first time she came outside in years, he burns the bitch from a tree. Like that's <laughs> <laughs> uh, Come on, yo, all right, keep it real. I mean, I was Team Stannis. Don't get it wrong, but until until he burned his child. I, I, I was I was I was against that. Oh, Until he burned his I was against right Stannis. <laughs> yeah, after that, I was done with Stannis. But you know, oh God, I think Jon Snow should be on the throne. That's the, that's the most um, that's the most easy one to say. I think Jon Snow deserves to be on the throne. He's the most honorable man. He's kind of Ned Stark slash. Um, Lord Commander Mormont, he's been raised by good men, and I feel like Jon Snow has, and he has the, the, the truest claim to the throne. He's Rhaegar Tigarian's uh, son. true-born son. son. True-born yeah. son. So, uh, I, see, I think Jon Snow should be, um, I think Jon Snow's gonna, uh, should be, you know, I don't know if he survives this whole thing, but I feel like he should be on the throne. That's my guy. And, think, okay, so you think he's going to survive? 
I, that's the thing. I think he should be on the throne, but I don't know if he's going to survive. Okay, so if he doesn't survive, he should be on the throne then. Dun, dun. Ooh, did you see that? Yes, yes. yes. I think he's, he should be on the... I think he has more of a claim to the throne than Daenerys does. Applaud me. If he dies, and if he dies, oh, who should be on the throne? If he dies, I feel like they should become... If, you know what, Jon Snow's the only leader that I feel like this worthy. He's not cruel. He's not a monster. Yo, know, Daenerys just burns people if they don't bend the knee. How can you say that she should rule Westeros? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, He's be on my woman. side or die. No, 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 no. No, it has nothing to do with her being a woman. I'd rather have Sansa. I'd rather have Sansa on the throne. I'd rather have Sansa on the throne than Daenerys right now. That's how I'm feeling right now. That's how I'm she's feeling. A tiny, she's a tiny, pale, petite woman with white hair, okay? That is she has nothing to do with it. She tends to do with burn people. Like, that's her power. Leave her alone. No, God, no. no but God, Harry was going to tell her, we send him to the next watch. When you're cruel and burn people for not being on your side, it's hard to rule people, especially when, when they all despise him. I feel like that was a mistake for her to burn Sam's father and his brother, but that's just me. You know, maybe, maybe the way they right. treated Sam, they deserved it, okay? The way they treated Sam, they deserved it. Yeah, they did. But still, still, that, that has nothing to do with the Daenerys. She burnt a family out of existence. You can't do that. You can't do that. Sam is still alive. Sam, 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 Sam. Hey, he's the future of House. He's the he's the future of House um, T- Tully. And she was like, uh, I gave him a choice, and if he he didn't bend a knee, he's got to die. So you're basically wiping away a family in Westeros. She has no guts. She, I mean, no. She has no empathy or compassion for anybody. So I think she she's almost as bad as the Mad King at this point. That's how I'm seeing it. Are That's how I'm seeing it. She's almost as bad as the Mad King. Give me Jon Snow or give me independence. If Jon Snow is not the ruler of Westeros, I feel like they should separate into individual. Um, <laughs> individual um, kingdoms. Back to the seven kingdoms again. That's how I see it. Applaud me. This one. Yes, sir. That's how I see it. <laughs> you, how do you feel? You think I'm wrong? You think I'm wrong? She's ruthless. She's almost just like the Mad King. <laughs> You there? Hello? I am here. I had oh, okay. Really oh, okay, it. okay. So, well, how do you feel um, about what I just said? No, I think I think you have really great points. I mean, I think you cannot speak about Daenerys without speaking about her brutality. Yes. I think that's important. Um, I mean, she's made a lot of mistakes along the way. Um. You know, especially when she was in Marine and, you know, she was irresponsible with her dragon. She was going around, like, killing babies and goats and shit. Like, she killed the masters. To... No empathy what? whatsoever. She killed the masters. She hung them up and stapled them. She stapled them to the, to the signs were, on Marine. they were owning people, though. Those were people. And the reason why I think she's, those are people that she deem as bad. She killed those people because those were people that were enslaving other people. So, but when did she become judge, jury, and executioner? Well, she tried to talk to them and reason with them. I mean, she always did try to have conversations with people before she burned them. You know, she would yeah. ask them nicely, too. And, but remember, and her but power remember, is, these are bad people. You're doing bad things, and you're getting in my way of getting back to the throne. But remember when remember when she married the guy, the, um, the guy from uh, Marine? And he was like, yeah. my father my father was a master, and he always spoke out against the masters, but uh-huh. yet you still stable his ass against one of them posts, one of them signs. <laughs> Not everybody is good, and you can't judge everybody the same. So that, that's my problem with Daenerys. She's well, just maybe, too quick. To... Maybe, maybe, maybe Jon Snow is what will, because she's fire and he's ice. I mean, if you look at it in the way he that is you have fire to and it. ice. He is fire uh, and ice. 
He's fiery and, and ice. I think, and I think she can be ice when she needs to be, too. I don't know when, but I'm hoping maybe they'll balance each other out. And maybe that's what the whole story is about. Maybe both of them should be on the throne. I don't know. We'll see. That's that's that that'll be the best ending, but I don't see it happening that way. But we will we will see. We will see. It's called Fire and Ice. I mean Yes sir. My whole thing is I think Daenerys got it because rightfully and all the elements belong to them. The throne belongs to them. They forged it. Oops. So but I mean in the end it, at the end if it's the fire and ice, maybe that's what it's designed to do to help balance them out. Yeah, we'll see. We shall see. I cannot wait. Are you having a Game of Thrones party? No, we. I don't know. We don't have any plans yet. What time does it come on again? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Okay. All right. Is there? I'm actually. Um, I have a question. I want to ask. Yeah. All right. How do you think the hound will die? The hound? Yeah. I think the hound survives. You think the hound survives? I think the hound survives. Okay, okay. I'll go I think the hound survives. I, I think he is killing the mountain, and that's that. <laughs> yes, sir. I cannot wait. I can't wait till tomorrow. I can't wait till tomorrow. So, tomorrow should be deemed the national holiday, Game of Thrones Day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't wait. I cannot wait. But yo, thank you for calling in. Thank you for participating and helping me out. I appreciate it. I'm sure you'll hear from tomorrow. Um, did you want? Did you want to have? Uh, did you have anything else? Any, anything else final you want to say? No, I'll take another it. call. Make sure you get this. Get this whole party started. I'm excited. Let's get it on. And I don't don't want it to end. Uh, no. Six more episodes and then it's it's a wrap. But thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That thank is my absolute best. Thank you for coming on. Thank you, dear. Yo, keep listening, keep thank listening. You. I'm not gonna hang up on all you. Right. I'm just gonna all right. Okay. All right, thank you. Let's take another call. All right, uh let's go here. Hello. Oh, 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 Cena. <laughs> what is the deal, oh, bro? my God. I have so much to say, so much to contribute. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. All right. I hope it's not too loud because I'm at Texas Roadhouse, so I hope it's all good. Go ahead. It's cool. You're good. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. First off, at the end of the day, if a Stark does not survive, I am done. A Stark <laughs> has to survive. I don't care if the rest of Westeros is taken over by White Walkers, but a Stark has to live. All of the drama that that family has been through is ridiculous. And yeah. if they don't come out with at least one person on top, even if it's Jon Snow, because he's a Stark too, then I'm going to feel like I, like I was ripped off because that whole family has suffered the most out of anybody. Yeah, Undeserving it. Yes. yes, let's applaud you. Thank you, thank you. Absolutely, dude. I, I agree. The Starks, the Starks have been through the ringer and back. It's almost unfair. I mean, for no reason. For no reason. I know. And the Lancers just keep and, winning everything. Go ahead, keep going. As far as somebody who I think that will survive that is unexpected, I honestly think that Sansa will survive. I, I don't know. She, yes, I think that she will survive. And the That's reason the is because, because her evolution throughout the show, because I, I, I'm going to be honest, I've been trying to rewatch before. I have failed miserably before the premiere comes. I'm only on like season three. I think the last episode I watched was The Red Wedding. So just seeing just how her character has developed over time and, you know, knowing where she is now versus where she was in the beginning, it's night and day. And it's yeah. all been a hard learned lesson. Every yes. step of the way. 
So I feel like with the way that things have gone for her and the way she has evolved in a backfit to every situation, she's going to be one of the people that survive. I, I can see that. I agree with you. I agree with you. She, she definitely has been through the ringer, man. And, and she, yeah. I feel like she's had, besides Arya, I feel like she's had the most, and Jon Snow, I feel like she's had the most character development throughout the show. Who, like, was one thing in the beginning, I became something else different in the present. So, I think right. Sansa has definitely come from a scared little girl to a mature, right. a mature woman at this point. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, it was more than just a scared little girl. She was just so naive. You know, I, I just wanted I, everything good. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> I feel yeah. like she was, she was you know, naive and, oh, I just want to wear little dresses and I want to be a princess and I want to have yellow haired babies with punk ass Joffrey. Joffrey. You know, yeah. I mean, she was like, she was that bad. You know, yeah. and where she is now, like, you know, to the point that she could sit there and watch Ramsey get his face eaten off and not even <laughs> point. <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah. where she was in the beginning. Like it, it's just I'm I'm definitely rooting for her because she just learned it the hard way, but she learned. And not to mention not a, not just that, but she also pretty much was like basically Littlefinger's puppet, and Littlefinger mm-hmm. just manipulated her throughout the whole show for the most part until right she and basically turned the tides on him. Right. And if I remember correctly, she was like, I may be a slow learner, but I learned. And it's yes. like, yeah. And again, she learned everything the hard way. I just felt like with her character, her experiences, her journey and everything, she's, she's not dying. Thompson's going right. to make it. I, I, I think so. I think you're right. I think you're right. I hated Santa in the beginning. because I think everybody did because she was so stupid. So stupid, like yeah. So she got uh, raped. Then, then That's what I was going to stand to watch. Oh man, she got, that was like, hard to watch. On her wedding night. Uh, raped like, on her wedding night? That was so hard to watch, man. That's in her character. So yeah. To turn around some. But the way she went nah, there. I, I, it was actually, I think it was before then. Definitely when she really started getting in, thinking that she was getting in good with Littlefinger. Yeah. She was starting to be more wise. It's like I said, I just have recently been re-watching the episodes, and, you know, you could just see. And, I mean, all of them, they're such good actors, because you just, I mean, you could just see the internal struggle that they go through. And for her, it was like when she was still playing the game, like, you know, she was obedient, and when Joffrey was still alive and everything, and, you know, she was just like a robot. Yeah, Joffrey is the best, you know, all of that. And yeah. it, it, it was just, you knew she was she was terrified. You knew she uh, was, was sick. And you knew vengeance was on her. She just had, her whole thing, she had to survive first. And yes. that's what it was. She was everything to else was definitely um, scary. When she was about to push uh, Joffrey off the top of the wall, you know, um, oh when he made God. it look yeah. head. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. right. You're right. You're right. I'm and I know somebody said, I know somebody said that they thought that the hound was going to survive. I don't think that he's going to survive. I, I do. Think that he, I don't think that he's going to survive, but I think he is going to to die in a heroic way, and it's probably going to be with fire. Oh, come that on! Don't is, tell me that. Don't tell me that. He's, Not He's terrified. He's terrified of fire. He is terrified, and yeah, I think he's going to face his fear. No, I think hell. he's going to face his fear, and he is going to like it has to do with fire. He's going to come out looking awesome, but he's going to die. That's what I think. All right, because all right. even I, I he's been having like a, a evolution thing. You know, too, and it's, he has this weird thing with the Stark girls with Arya and Sansa. Like, yes, he's he does. protective of them. 
yeah. and it's not explained why. And I, I'm I'm looking forward to understanding why. You know, you know, it's yeah. like he he it's his. You know, he had like a certain level of respect for for Ned, but he's like protective over the girls in his own way. Yeah. And I just, I, I really want to, I can't wait to, yeah, I can't wait to figure out why. He, and plus, he always wants to, um, you know, like you said, he, I think you're right. He's going to have to overcome his fear of fire somehow in this show. Right. He, he definitely is. Right. It'll be the same. Maybe, maybe he'll be fighting his brother. Or something, yeah. Yeah, maybe he'll be fighting his brother. Or just save one of them. That's definitely going down. That is definitely going oh, yeah. down. yeah. I, I and and I don't think his brother's gonna be the one to kill him. That would just be like messed up. I I, I just yeah. I don't see that. I, I think you know they're definitely going to take down the mountain, you know, and his mummified self. It's like it's really disgusting what has happened to him. It's it's messed up. But as far as as far as Cersei, yeah, I can't really see her surviving, but she's. Just fly enough to make it. <laughs> yeah, like, I feel like, she does. <laughs> like if she did survive, I feel like that would shock no one. Because at this point, she's insane. At this point. Yes. Yes. Like I've been trying to avoid watching the speculation videos and all of that stuff. I've been watching a lot of the recap videos and maybe things that I might have missed, but. So I don't know what the so-called predictions are, but for her, I just really, you know, it's going to go either way. Either she's going to go out or she's not. And if she doesn't, I'm really not going to be surprised at all. It figures. And she, she survives in, in a way? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I just feel like if she's, if, it, like, could you really be shocked if Cersei makes it? Really? I wouldn't be shocked. I wouldn't be shocked. I wouldn't be shocked either. Yeah, it's yeah. like nine, nine lives. Like, right. Right. She, I, I, I mean, she's, dude. she's going to preserve herself. As far as who's going to take the throne, I don't know. I Like, I don't want to know yet. I want to see it unfold. But I think honestly can't see past them beating the White Walkers. I know there's a lot that's going to happen with that. It's going to make the Iron Throne so trivial once they really see what is coming for them that I have no idea who's going to take over. Perhaps it will be, you know, a whole different way of, of, of running that world or whatever because of that experience. Oh no! Yeah. Good. Thank you. Who wasn't um, killed? Taken down the White Walker. Yeah, yeah so much yeah, can be I done. Just, so few episodes. Yeah, I just, I can't. I mean, oh, and by the way, I heard, I read at least that the last episode is supposed to be like 178 minutes long. So I could just imagine how much they are going to wrap up into that. Oh, uh, but yeah, I. I I don't know exactly what the humans are going to do. I have a theory. Um, I have a theory that you know it's real cloudy because I can't see them beating the White Walkers. How? How? I, I don't see how they beat them either. <laughs> they, they, the, they, yeah. Someone's gonna have to kill the Night King. That's all. That's the only way I can see it. Yeah, and then who just yeah, like the ones the that leave. Um, no, I no, no. Mean, I think someone has to kill. Someone has to kill the Night King. Who's got the dragon glass? They all got na- dragon glass. They mined it from um, uh, Dragonstone, but right because it was literally a mountain of dragon glass. Yeah. Whoever mm-hmm. kills the Night King is gonna end up getting killed themselves. I think. Jon Snow's gonna have to kill the Night King. Do you remember uh, uh, Malisandre's um, prophecy in uh, season one, episode? In season two, episode one, where she's telling Stannis that the long night's gonna come, the death's gonna come from the north, right? And right. Uh, there's gonna be a, a hero, um, there's gonna be a Zora Hyde reborn. That's that's all Jon Snow, and it's gonna have to happen. 
So that's right. how I see it. It's going to have to be Jon Snow. Jon Snow is the hero, but right. how he gets it, it's a certain sword that he's going to have to have. So right. the sword is called Lightbringer, which um, the fire, the, the, um, the sword is going to light up in fire or fire. So we'll, we'll see exactly how that happens. That's what I'm excited to see. It's how he gets Lightbringer. Um, right. We're on the last one night. The champion, the high, uh, his right wife. Bringer is the, is the sword that, that catches on fire, right? That I think it's what's his name, Barris or something like that. He has yeah, this sword catches on fire through, um, you know, through magic, the Lord basically. of Light, yeah, the Lord of Light. But it's going to be a special sword that lights on fire that's going to uh prevent the long night. So, and it's going to be so I think John Snow's sword, but he has to stab a living heart. To, for that to happen, right. it's gonna to have to be a living heart for that to happen. So we'll see. Right, we'll I know, see. I know. I've been watching YouTube videos. I've been obsessed. I've been recapping. I've been watching the show. I'm so hyped up that winter is finally here. <laughs> yeah. And that is coming tomorrow. It's crazy. I I hate to see the show in. Because it's been an amazing show, but I cannot wait for it to start. It's going like I don't know. I'm hyped. <laughs> I know. I know. It's it's so exciting that it's coming, but at the same time, you're like, this is it. This is the end of it. There's I know. No it's and I mean, they've coming. had all the actors on the shows and stuff. I, I've been just soaking it all in because this epic show, and I swear. Everybody who doesn't watch it, they have no idea how much they're missing out because it's such a good show. And after the show is over, I'm finally going to read the book. And I'm like, I'm just obsessed. So I can't wait. Yeah. The books are out. I can't wait. I can't wait. Any, 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 um, anything else you want to say? I'm going to get on to the next caller, man. Right, right. Um, the only thing, I, like I said, Team Stark, I'm rooting for the Stark. I expect there to be just more than one Stark living. They've been through hell and, and somehow are still around. So that's it. My prediction is that there will be some Stark at the end. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm fucking with it. Yeah, we'll keep you on. You can still listen to it if you want. But thank you for your call, All man. Right. Uh, yeah, let's uh, go, King of the North. Thanks for having me. All right, thank you, guys. The King of the North. Let's take another caller. Let's go to, let's go right let's go here, right here. Yo, welcome to Golden Shop Talk Radio, man. What's up, bro? Am I on? Yeah, you're on. Good turn. Me? Yeah. Let me know. What up, Slim? What up, now? What's going on, man? We're doing Game of Thrones, man. So, you, do you know the question? That we, well, who do you think is going to survive? One, one character that you feel is going to survive? Uh, man, I have no idea, but I, I can tell you who I want to survive. All right, go ahead. What? Um, you definitely gotta have some start to live, man. It didn't teach you much. I agree. Like, uh, I mean, I'm gonna go with, uh, I wanna see, I wanna see Tyrion live. Yeah, me too. I don't know about that. I don't I like know if Tyrion's gonna live. I like Tyrion. I don't think Tyrion's gonna make it. I don't think Tyrion's gonna make it either. Live. I don't think he's gonna make it. I want to see. Uh, I don't think so. I want to see the hound live. live. I, I I hope the hound lives, but I want to see I the hound live because. So do I. Let's applaud that. His character. His character is really. He's been through the ringer. Got a Yeah, you got to look at everything that happened to him. You know, he had a. Uh, he had like a moment. You know, in King's Landing with, with Sansa, where he was basically like looking out for her the whole time. Yes. Yeah. You know, like remember, remember they had that conversation, and he's like, uh, 
you know, he's on some shit like, you know, like, you don't, you got a problem with me, but he's like, you know, there'll, there'll come a time when, you know, only thing standing between me and your, uh, and your husband will be me. Yes. That's what he told Santa. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And he's like, you know, he's been, he like, he's been looking out for her from the rip. And, you know, he was yeah. on, he was on Arya's list, but the Hound's pretty complicated, but... You see how he's like a, 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 a good guy, actually. He's a good guy. What if he ends up sitting on this throne in the end? No way. You never know. No you, way. Know. you never know. The hell on the throne? You never know. Nah. This, but this show is not going to be who you expect it to be. I want to hear it. He stopped Stannis' brother from getting killed. Somebody else tried to Yeah? No, no, you're talking about uh, Lord Terrell. Lord Terrell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he didn't have to do that. Yeah. He didn't have the to do that. Of the hand of the king. Uh, the tourney for him and King in season one. Yeah, he did. He he didn't have to do that. So, Loris Terrell. Let's see what he's talking about. Yes. Yeah. Um, um, he looked out for Arya for a while. I want to see Arya. I want to see Arya. I want to see Arya, Lou. I think she will. Bran. I would be shocked. I want to answer Arya Bran or If she dies. Honestly, I don't no, see any of them dying except for Jon Snow. I want to see uh, Theon live, honestly. Yeah, he has to, man. Theon's been through a lot, man. You know, I feel bad for him, honestly. Me too. Me too. Yeah, so it's really his dad, like, it was, gave him up. Yeah. His dad gave him up. He got his dick cut off. He was never one of the Starks, and he knew it was never a Stark. Yeah, so, so yeah, he but turned the Starks, off. The Starks, but the Starks treated him like Sam. Like a Stark. I mean... Like, you know, like Rob always had a moment. You know, he remember when they found his dire wolves? He had a moment with Jon Snow. Like it's always yeah. been moments to remind him that he's not a Stark, but they treated yeah. him really good. And I mean, I don't think he understands that until he goes back to the Iron Islands and sees how his dad's treating him. But at that point, he just kind of wants to impress his dad so much. Yes, yeah. but you know, he really forgets. It's the I same think it kind of welds so together the ideas that, you know, the Iron Islands is kind of like got this noble aspect to it, kind of like how, how Stark does, but it, it never did, and it never, it never they're, they're like thieves and criminals, basically. Yeah, Reavers and Reavers. You know, like yeah, he always went back and was always talking about it in a sense of like, you know, I like remember he was on his way there, they're like, oh, they're going to be like, you know, it's going to be like a big celebration for my return. Yeah. And nobody, you know, nobody cares. How like, are you doing here? Nobody no even knows who you are. Yes. You know, like once he went over there, I mean, and then, you know, he has a moment too. You remember uh, Bolton's bastard was really messing with him, messing with his head. Remember when he freed him? He's like, come with me. And he yeah. had a moment. Remember right before that, he, like, tricked him and brought him back, and he's like, what the hell? Well, the thing about it was, he yeah. had a moment where he told, he told, uh, Bolton, he was like, he's like, he told Ramsey, he's like, yo, you know, before he found out that he was like, when he thought he was helping him, he's like, you know, he's like, I, he's like, I made the wrong choice, like, I'm on the wrong side, like, he admitted it, you know? Yeah. And he said that his dad died in King's Landing. Yes, that's when he finally acknowledges that Ned Stark is his father, was his real father. And and at that moment, know, that kind of that, at that moment, that kind of just symbolizes everything that happens to him afterwards. It's kind of like Rob trusted him to do something for him, and he and he, he kind of stabbed him in the back. But you know, you can't really you can't be too mad at Theon, you know. To be in that situation, yeah. Because it's like, I mean, I, yeah, yeah. He doesn't, I, I, he doesn't really. He doesn't, he's like a child when they took him, so he doesn't fully understand that the Iron Islands. He kind of, it's like it's like when he was young, you know. So he doesn't. I don't think he realizes that the Iron Islands are basically like not as good as he thinks. Like he thinks they have like a noble aspect, like 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 how Stark does, but it doesn't at all. And he kind yeah, of and he thinks he's going to go to him. Yeah, and it just didn't work out that way. I mean, his sister told him, like, you know, she said, "Don't stay here. Like, 
like this crap you pulled, everybody wants you dead. And they're like, don't don't stay here. Like she's like she said, don't stay here. Come home with me. Don't die. Yeah, don't die so and, far from the sea. And so he wait, was broken. Do you think Dayon's gonna survive? Dayon was broken. Or you want Dayon to survive? I think Dayon's gonna survive. I you want him to survive. You think Dayon's gonna survive, or you just want him to survive? Not only do I want Dayon to survive, I want him to survive and have like a part in, you know, the whole aspect of uh, the new king. The new king. I think I want him to play a role in that. <laughs> I think him and Sans are gonna get together. Oh, no. I don't know why. I don't oh, know. No, oh no, there's no way. Bird, it don't dude. It don't matter. It don't mean that they still can't. No be way. No twins or berries. They still can't be together. Twins and berries. No, hell no. No, that's not. That's that's not happening. That's All not, right, yo, not, um, that's not. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. Yo, who do you think is gonna um? Who do you think's gonna um? On the Who do you think should sit on the Iron Throne when it's all said and done? John Snow, hands down. I agree. Yeah, I think so too. I, bought it. I think he deserved it. So, he was when you think about him. people left over, and left, you know, who would make a good king? I mean, I think mm-hmm. there's plenty of good candidates. Like, He'd be I the think Tyrion would be a good king. I agree. I don't know. I agree. <laughs> Oh, well, go ahead, go ahead. I think Tyrion will be a good king. I think uh I think Jon Snow I think Jon Snow is just the best option. Like like say say like uh, somebody like uh 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 he's smart. He's got he's got a bit of honor with him, you know. Yeah, he's but, definitely honorable. He's a great warrior. I mean People follow him. He's yeah, he's a good leader. People every like people follow him. They believe in him. I don't I don't see that as such. You know. Yeah. But like, yeah. John, John Snow's honorable, but John Snow's also been through the mud, so he knows that you know. John John Snow knows that it's a bit of a dirty work to it. You know. <laughs> Like he didn't want to kill people that, 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 that killed him. He didn't yeah. want to kill those people, but he knew he had to. Yes. You know, I like agree. he's been through the mud and back. I mean, he would die for this shit. You know. What I, mean? so, I I love Jon Snow. Jon Snow is my favorite character on Game of Thrones this day. Today. This I think day. Jamie's gonna die. Who's gonna die? I think Jamie's gonna die. I, I so. hope Jamie doesn't die, man. I think so. I hope Jamie doesn't die. I do not want Jamie to die at you all. Think about it, Jamie's not a bad guy. No, he's not. But come on, I don't want I don't want Jamie I to think, die, man. I think Jamie's going to die. I think a lot. Circle right now. The yeah. Lester, the Lester's going to be done, man. Coming full circle. You know, Cersei and Jamie. Yo, 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 your, yo, your phone's breaking up, bro. I can't really hear you. Yo, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, that, that house is coming to an end, you know? Tywin is dead. Uh, Tyrion is yeah, basically was... on, on another side. And uh, he doesn't Jamie's even like... Deflecting, he... Jamie's deflecting from Cersei's, and she's not going to like that. Do you really think that the, Jamie, the, 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 Jamie made a vow, a vow and he, I think so. And he's going what? to go fight. Yeah. Wow. And I think I think I think everybody's going to see exactly. Jamie Jamie's going to die, and Jamie's going to have a moment to like prove himself to everybody because he's had that whole cloud over his back with the uh, Kingslayer stuff, and nobody understands that as far as him with the whole you know, killing the king that it was necessary, that he had to do it. They don't know the full story. It's just like Ned walks in on him, sees him pulling a knife out his back, and it's like, oh, Kingslayer. But it was much yeah. deeper than that. True. You know, he True. came to the he came he came to the king and told him, like, yo, look, the uh my my, my dad's gonna betray you basically. Yeah. Like he's gonna team up with Robert's Rebellion. He's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna turn on you. 
like, just kind of hand it over peacefully. And he told Jamie, he's like, you know what? Burn them all. Yeah, burn them all. let's kill them all. Let's kill everybody. We're going to burn down so the we're said, burn bring me, whole bring me. He said, bring me back your dad's head and burn them all. Yes, that's exactly what happened. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I think Jamie's going to have a chance to prove himself that he's not like this backstabbing guy that everybody thinks he is. But Jamie is missing a hand now. He's not the sword fighter that he was. True. And I and I got a weird feeling, man. I think Uncle Benjamin's not dead. <laughs> I think Uncle Benjamin's dead, dude. Uncle Benjamin. I don't think Uncle Benjamin's dead. I think Uncle Benjamin's dead, bro. I think Uncle Benjamin's gonna rise from the ashes like a phoenix and save the day. <laughs> What's the one thing you said about? Um, the one thing you said about uh, That's the worst his, theory ever? Uh, Lady Stark and everybody coming back from the dead on the Night King side. You said something about what if? What if the? Oh, I said what if he raises everybody in the Winterfell crypt? Yeah. And, and, and on what, his side. On his side. So yeah. what if he gets a headless Ned, uh, Lady, Lady Stark, um, whoever's in the Winterfell crypt? What if he raises the dead down there? I guess he's a necromancer. So he can raise the dead. So I'm saying, what if he makes it all the way to Winterfeld and makes it inside the Winterfell crypt and starts raising old guys from the, uh, that we what? know and, and oh, fight against nuts. the heroes that we have today? That'd be crazy. And they're fighting their family. And he's fighting, ne- like, Ned's fighting Arya and shit. Yeah. Like, that'd be crazy. You know, That's you what know, I'm saying. Like so we'll see. Uncle Vince oh, yeah, is going to any, any last words? And yeah, I man. Call. Uh, you know what? You know what? At the end of the day, we honestly, I mean, we can talk about it through a blue in the face. We have no idea what's going to happen. Man. I exactly. know. That, that's the beauty about because, it. And it's not going to be what you expect at all. What you think is going to happen like, is not going to happen. We could have a moment, right, where let's just say – you know, Cersei said she wasn't dealing with this. She's like, oh, I'm going to just chill here. You know, let let them deal with that, right? Yeah. What if we have a moment where they're, like, losing, and then Cersei is the one who kind of, like, comes and saves the day. I'm like, Any, anything can happen. That'd, that'd yeah. be crazy. That'd be crazy. Maybe because she saw what they're up against. That'd be crazy, bro. So, yo, thank you for the call, man. Yo, uh, I'll see you tomorrow night. Uh, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Hey, go Braves. Go Braves. Thanks for the call, bro. Let's go. All right, let's take another call. The King in the North. 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 Welcome to Barbershop Talk Radio. Hello. You're on the air, mother, mother. You there? <laughs> I'm, I'm just listening. <laughs> you want to talk I'm or you? Oh, you just want to listen? Okay, okay. I'm gonna just hold. I'm gonna put you on hold. Uh, you can still. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go. Sh- sh- now. All right. Hello, Hello. Chanel. Welcome oh, to Barbershop Talk with the ADL. What's <laughs> up? What you thinking here? What we got going here? It's Game of Thrones time. I think one of the Stark girls are going to be. One of the Stark girls are going to do it. Do what? They're going to be. They're going to be the one. To do what? To run the seven. Sit on the throne? Sit on the throne? I can see that. Yes, they are. What? What is this? I don't know. I love Arya. I love Arya. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm really like Sansa, but... <laughs> I think it's going to be Arya. Is going to sit on the throne? I think Arya is going to do it. Yep. Oh, yeah. shit. I can see that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I never thought of that one. Wow. She's going to get that sword. And she's going to do it. Wow. We will see. Now, that's my who prediction. Do who do you think is going to survive? Uh, who do you think is going to survive? Uh, that part I'm not sure of. I think definitely Snow, the Stark girls, uh, 
Maybe the mother of dragons. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think she's done. I I think she's doomed. (laughs) How is she going to die, though? You think she's going to die? I think she's she's going to die by the night king. You know what? I don't know. I think she's going to have... I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I think one one of her dragons are going to kill her. (laughs) (laughs) That'd be ironic. Maybe the dragon that turned will get her. I don't know. I don't know. I can't wait. I can't wait. There's so many different theories, like on so many different things happen. that can happen. You know, uh, I, I can't wait. I, I know you. You hated you Daenerys. Wait. You hated Daenerys since day one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she's horny. She's cruel. She's cruel. Yeah. She's cruel. Yeah. She is. She is she cruel. Is. That's there. Yeah. That's like when you're am saying like, oh, she um, she's doing it for people for bad people. So if I went outside and somebody was a bad person, I could just staple them to the to the stop sign. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's what she person, like she was like stapling people to the stop sign. Yeah, I could burn them alive. Yeah. Ruth, was, Ruth was evil. Not evil, but I thought Ruth they were bad. Like. I just I'm not feeling her. So I think Josh Snow should be on the throne. You said one of the star girls. I don't know about that. But okay, yep. I could Maybe. take Arya, or if any of the Stark girls are Arya doesn't want to rule. Arya's going to do it. Why? They don't want it until it's put in front of their face. Okay, okay. All right, well, it comes down to who sits there prediction. first, right? That's your prediction. <laughs> yep, that's my prediction. Yeah, Arya's going to be it. All right, well, there you go. thank you for the call, she can my dear. No problem. Um, Good luck I'll, tomorrow. Uh, well, thank you. Well, thank you. We play at 10 o'clock. You want to come on out and check us out. But all right. Uh, I will hit you up tomorrow. And uh, all right. thank you. We're going to take another call. No Welcome to Barbershop Talk Radio. What's up? Chante, you there? Hello? <laughs> yes, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? How you doing? <laughs> I'm good. I'm marvelous. Marvelous, marvelous. All right, let me hear some predictions. Okay, the question is, who do you think is going to survive out of everybody? One one character uh, that's the whole thing. Uh, Aria. See, I, Aria. everybody's saying Aria. Everybody's saying Aria. Why are you shocked about that? Yeah. That. You are. You're not like, at all. Arya. I know. Oh, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm trying to write you yeah. deeper imagination. That's all. I mean, Arya is definitely a given. I think Arya is definitely a given. That's all. I don't she's think a, she's, she's given. Trained, she's a trained assassin. She's not going to die. I think you're going to think she's gone, but she's really not. She can use the faces. Yeah, she, she can, can use faces. She's got yeah. magic now. She can change faces. So I think she's going to be a survivor. I forgot about the faces. Okay. All right, I can see that. Arya, definitely. Yeah. All right, that was quick and easy. Now, who do you think should be on the throne? <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, I think I like Daenerys. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. Her. I knew you were going to say that. A lot of people like Daenerys, though. I knew you were going to say that. Oh, I mean, Daenerys... Not- if not her, then Jon Snow. But that's it. That's the only people I want on the throne. I think there are only two options or at this point. Or them two together. Or together. Yeah. I think I think there are only two options I at think, this point. Honestly, the only the way they're going to end it to end the is going to be those two together. If they're if they're not killed, it's going to be them two together. Both surviving. I just don't see it. Really? I can't see it. I cannot see both of those guys surviving. No way. It's Game of Thrones. I, I think if one of them one. dies, if one of them dies, I think it's going to be Daenerys. But I agree. I agree. Yeah, just because it's something that uh, one of the scenes from season seven, I think when um when he uh, who was it? Right there, and he was like saying like, what happens if you're if you get killed or something? Who's gonna who's your um? Air. Oh, yeah, you're yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Tyrion yeah, said that to Daenerys. Yes, he did. Yeah, and she was like, well, I'm worried about right now. I'm not worried about the future and all that. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah. When I heard that, I was like, oh, she might, she's gonna, she ain't making it. 
he was talking about the line of succession. Like, what are you going to yeah. do after, after if something happens to you? Like, who who's going to take yeah. the throne after that? So I, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that makes me think that she's not going to survive. That that's yeah. That that, when, not, I, when I heard him say that, I have a feeling. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I don't think she's going to make it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look too good for her. Uh, <laughs> It'd be nice to see. That's cool. I, I mean, Daenerys. Oh, man, I cannot wait. I, I don't know. I don't know about Daenerys surviving. I just don't see her surviving. But I do see. Yeah, you don't see her. You I don't think want her to. No, 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 no. I, I actually want her to survive, but I think she's cruel. So I don't want her to be on the Iron Throne, but I do want her to survive. I want her to be a regular lady in the court. John Snow, or John Snow's wife, where he's the king. Yeah. John Snow deserves to be the king, but this Night King problem's not going to go away. The Night so Somebody's going to have to kill How him. I basically see is basically they're going to deal with the Night King first, yes. and then deal with Cersei afterwards. So go for the if they deal with throne. if they deal with the Night if they deal with the uh the uh, the White Walkers and the, the Night King first and a dragon at this point, then they're going to deal with the, uh with Cersei and whoever's the king. But Cersei's not going to be... Who's left with Cersei? Didn't everybody no. go with Jamie? Cer- Cersei usurped the throne. Yes. At, she had no right to the throne, but she just took it. I'm saying... Like, After her son killed himself, she shouldn't have been the uh, After the Night King, ruler. when they go for the, the Iron Throne, who does Cersei have on her side? Who's left on her side? Well, she's she's buying the Iron... Uh, she has the Iron Bank, and they're getting cell source from Bravos. Oh, okay. That's what... Uh, uh, Greyjoy went to go do at the end. Remember, he acted like he was scared of the White Walkers. Yeah. And she's like, oh, he's not a coward. He went, he went, and he went to go get the um, the Iron Bank. We have the Iron Bank on our side. Uh, yeah. The Iron yeah. Bank on our side is because they they took all the Tyrells' money. When I think Ter- I think Tyrion's a traitor. I'm saying it right now. I think Tyrion's a traitor. There's so many coincidences that shouldn't have happened, but that happened. Um, the fact that when family, when, when they had the Tyrells, they had the Tyrells, and they had um, uh, the Greyjoys, and they had um, Dorne, the uh, Marcells. Um, when they were going to take uh, the Martells back to go get their army, um, somehow they were attacked in the middle of the night. They, they know exactly where they were. I think that's because of Tyrion. Tyrion's a traitor. He's a traitor! <laughs> Tyrion's a traitor. Tyrion's a traitor. You heard it here first. Okay? And then after that, when um, he sent um, the, uh, Daenerys' forces, uh, the Unsullied, to Castle Rock, and nobody was there. And then while, while they're attacking Castle Rock, um, the Lannister forces is attacking the, the Tyrells. Without having backup, so you think that was all? Yeah, playing? I think it was all planned by Tyrion. Uh, that's how I feel. That's how I feel. I'm gonna be I wrong. I hope I'm wrong because Tyrion. I love Tyrion. I've always loved Tyrion. But if he is a traitor, that will be one of the biggest shocks in. You just don't seem like a Game of Thrones history. He doesn't seem like it, but there's too many know. weird coincidences that are, have been happening. Like that little finger fairies. We knew they were traitors. That we have been putting it. down. Daenerys, like when Daenerys, when when Jon Snow sent the Raven when they were trapped beyond the wall, uh, and they needed her help, uh, he was trying to talk Daenerys out of there because he does not want Jon Snow and Daenerys to be together. That's how I see it. I don't. What do you think, Shantae? I don't. I don't think so. No, you don't think you don't think no. Tyrion's a traitor? He's a traitor. No. No. He, he he loves his brother, but he hates his sister. I don't think he would. But listen, if he yeah, hated his sister and she didn't kill him, and we don't see what they say at the end of that, that at that episode when he goes in there and talks to her, that she comes out and says that she's going to do something. Did Tyrion know that she was lying? Did Tyrion know that she was lying? That's what I want to know. I don't think he knew. No, I don't think he did. I think he knew. I think he knew. I think he just went out there and told her to go tell um to go tell uh, Daenerys whatever she wanted to hear. And yeah, we we're gonna call our banners, da 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 da, and then walk away. Why didn't they show the end of that episode? In the ep- that in the that um that conversation, I feel like Tyrion's a traitor. 
That's what I feel. That's what I think. That's what I think. I think so long as I am your king, treason shall never go unpunished. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, God. As long yeah. as I'm your king, treason shall never go unpunished. Yes. Tyrion is committing treason. I think he is. And oath I breaker. must be wrong. He's an oath breaker. But just like with yeah. Littlefinger and Varys, everybody knew that they were snakes. I just don't see it with Tyrion. I don't I get just, that I vibe. I don't want to think so, but I'm just feeling that. I'm just getting this vibe that Tyrion's a traitor. You might be wrong. <laughs> Ter- Tyrion drinks and he knows things, but he's, <laughs> he's a traitor. <laughs> he's a traitor. I just don't believe in him, man. I, 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 yo, don't be shocked if once you find out that Tyrion's been betraying Daenerys the whole time. The whole time! Yeah, but he tried with her in the very beginning. She wasn't listening to him. She no, like, but every time him. she listened to him, every, something bad happened. He was wrong. Tyrion was wrong. He was just, he was just off his time. game a little bit. Mason. Off his game? This is war. You can't be off your game. <laughs> now, they lost three houses. The Tyrells have been wiped from existence because of his off his game. They lost, they, got, <laughs> He's they, lost, a bad day. they lost the great joys and their fleet because he was off his game. Um, who else? The Terrells. Yeah. They lost the Terrells, the great joys, and Dorn. And Dorn. Marshall. They lost three houses that pledged themselves to Daenerys. So it's basically by herself again, except for the fact that she was able to throw that nookie at Jon Snow and get him on the board. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Can I have some of it? Ooh, can I have some of it? Sweet dick, John. <laughs> so that's the only reason John's that's the only that's the only allies that she really has at this point. Besides the fact that she has the um Dothraki and the Unsully and two dragons. But she had way more than that until Tyrion single handedly by making mistakes Shrunk her army by half. Applaud me. Yeah, she still has more than eleven. <laughs> but she still should have more. Okay, she should still have more. The fact that he somehow Dorn and the Greyjoys were attacked in the middle of the night, were moving except for people on Daenerys's war council, and yet. She lost them. And the fact that she lost the Reach, a.k.a. House Tyrell, is because Tyrion sent Daenerys' forces to Castle Rock, where nobody was at, and allowed Jamie to take over uh, Lady Olena, the uh, Queen of Thorns, and you know what? Maybe basically wipe them from existence. Maybe him and Jamie are working together. I'm, he wouldn't I'm do telling it you, Terry is a traitor. He wouldn't do He's it for a traitor. Cersei. He wouldn't do it for Cersei, but he would do it for Jamie. He's doing it. He's doing it. I don't know why he's doing it, but yeah. uh, oh, yeah, I think he's, he's doing it. Jamie. The fact that you have to admit that something's fishy there, Shante. You can't sit here and act like something fishy is not going on there. That's I not think he's going to do it. He's trying to his brother. Yeah, I think he was trying to protect his brother. He was trying you know, to protect Jamie. Time when he was watching, when he was watching um, Daenerys destroy the Lannister army and um, to, um, Samuel Tarly's family army, she was he was he was watching it. He was just basically cheering for. He's supposed to be on Daenerys' side, but he was basically cheering and, and, and frowning upon the fact that she was killing them. He didn't, well, like he didn't want to see his brother burnt to death. Of course, he didn't want to see his brother burnt to death. But at the same time, he was like, like basically, listen, war is war. So if you're on my, either you're on my side or you're on the you're other with side. Me or you're with me. me or against me. And the way he was looking was like he was basically upset that the fact that she was doing. After he tried to talk her out of even doing it in the first place. Remember, he was like, oh, all it take is one arrow, and then, you know, this is all off for nothing. So he told her not to even go destroy um, the Lancer army in the first place with one dragon. And she did it anyway. So I feel like Tyrion's a traitor. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And I feel like he's dead. So 
You there? Yes. Yeah, so like you're dead. I feel like Tyrion's gonna end up dying. Oh man! Don't I feel like that. Tyrion's gonna die. Um, I think he's a traitor. That that's just how I feel. I mean, I might be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Cause Tyrion's one of my favorite characters. He is. Yeah. But I feel like he's. I feel like he's traitor. <laughs> I think he's. I think he's wanting to be a traitor. He's a traitor. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yo, anything, anything else you gotta? Oh wait, hold up. Anything else you gotta say? Any last words? Uh, anything, anything else on your chest? You wanna get off? Did you, did you talk about? Um, I don't. I missed the beginning part. Did you talk about? Um, if you think Jamie's gonna live or not? I think Jamie's gonna live. Kim doesn't think Jamie's gonna survive. Um, I, I think, think he's gonna want to kill the Night King. Cersei? You think I who's think gonna kill Jamie? I think, I think Cersei's gonna kill Jamie. Cersei? I'm, yeah. Jamie, I think Cersei. she's gonna kill her own brother. I think if anybody kills Cersei, it's gonna be probably Jamie. Yeah. No, I mean, she's gonna kill Jamie because she remember she said, "Don't betray me again." Yeah. She told yeah. him that. I think I think she's gonna because he went out to you know. She still marks to go help them. I think she's gonna find out. She's gonna get mad, and she's gonna be the one to kill him. Mark my words. Uh, maybe, maybe. Well, she's pregnant with his baby, so I don't know. I don't she's see her killing her brother. brother. She had a, she had an I opportunity to kill her brother, but she didn't. Yeah, I and didn't. I think she will next time. Uh, okay. Uh, hey, I wouldn't I wouldn't be shocked. Uh, but I think he's gonna kill her. That you said that's your prediction. That's what you say? Yeah. Okay. I, I, well, I, think, um, mm-hmm. I think um one of the Starks were gonna kill her. No, I think I think I think I think one of the uh, her own brothers are gonna kill her. Yeah, either Jamie or Tyrion. Either Jamie or Tyrion gonna kill her. But I still think Tyrion's a traitor. <laughs> 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 you spend too much time worrying about what other people think of you. I could care less what anyone thinks of me. That's what you want people to think of you. A lion doesn't concern himself with the opinions of a sheep. Yes, sir. (laughs) (laughs) The lion doesn't concern himself with the opinions of a sheep. Yeah. But, yo, listen, we're about to end this. But thank everybody for calling in and being a part of this. I appreciate it. I cannot wait. I cannot wait till tomorrow. I cannot wait. Oh, wait, we're going to say the king of the north. The king of the north! The king of the north! The king of the north! <laughs> Yo, thanks everybody for calling in. Um, I appreciate it, man. I definitely do. I, I actually got more calls than I expected, but I definitely appreciate everybody and tomorrow. your support. And um, oh, man, this this means a lot. I can't, I can't, I can't wait till tomorrow. Maybe man. we'll do a recap tomorrow. Maybe After we'll do a recap show. or something. You know, get uh, get our Game of Thrones we'll bars see. off our chest <laughs> if it's not too late. But man, that was that was that was, that was special, man. Like I really. Really appreciate it all. All, all. Like, I mean, just everybody that called in and just listened, I, I appreciate it. Like, it really means a lot to me, you know. Uh, and I can't wait. I cannot wait. I can't wait. 24 hours. Well, 23 24 hours. 24 hours till, till, till G T. I'll call Game Thrones. Game G-O-T? of Thrones. G O T? Yeah, G O T. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. I mean, I just, I, you know what? The crazy, the most exciting thing about this is that we don't know what's gonna happen. Nobody knows what's gonna happen. And what you think is gonna happen is not gonna happen. And what we think is gonna happen is not gonna happen. And never does. I, oh God, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. What's I don't it? know. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> what is going on? I don't know what's gonna happen. Well, I can't wait. wait this first see. episode, like I said, uh, like Cena said, uh, one of the episodes is um, what she says. Uh, she says uh, 
I forget what she said exactly, what the time was. But I know the first two episodes are definitely you 60 said it. minutes. You yeah, said yeah, actually, definitely. She, she said something about uh, another episode. So. Yeah, you said uh, the first two episodes, episodes were 60 minutes, and then it was an hour and a half after that. Do we have any uh, Game of Thrones music to end this one? No, 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 I took it off because they're uh, just, just taking up too much space. We don't have any uh, like King of the North. We had the King of the North, and then what other Game of Thrones uh, thingies we got? Yeah, it was taking up too much space, so I took it off. Right. Uh, that one. Well, I guess uh, I guess King of the North. Uh, uh, what's that? What was that it's one? Not an opinion, it's a fact. Oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Let's do that one. <laughs> That's not an opinion. It's a fact. <laughs> Ty, what's wait. wrong? Don't like being called boy. <laughs> Why one? are you here? <laughs> I got you to use that. Why are you here? Why are you here? <laughs> yeah, thank you guys. Thank you guys for being here. And um, see you guys tomorrow. Let's go. Game of Thrones, baby. The King in the North. <laughs>